for this season as a team? Definitely going into it. I know we had a good group of guys, a lot of talent, and my hope is that we you know, make it to playoffs, which is coming up, and that we could at least win a couple games in playoffs. And on top of that, just for everyone to, you know, winning record, of course. Um, everyone has a good season, you know, and for me personally, I'd definitely say it's just going to be fun to see how far we can get. Uh, coming in, I didn't really have very many expectations for the season, but as it's gone on, um, I just really want to win conference this year and make a decent run at the playoff. So my expectations were just to go far in conference, hopefully win it, and I think we can win a few playoff games. Well, a lot of coaches around our conference uh, chose us uh, to have high expectations for the season. So personally, I think our main goal is to uh, win a conference championship. I mean, we have a lot of talented players. and. We can definitely accomplish that. Uh, my expectations for the team this season were to win conference and uh, at least win a regional championship. I think we have the right group of guys to make both of those achievements happen and uh, also have a winning record. You know, every season you kind of have like two sets of expectations. You have the one set of expectations that when you start thinking about wins and losses and what kind of team you have, and, and that can kind of fluctuate year to year. The other set of expectations that we always have that stay consistent every year is just to, to really try to build relationships with my players, um, to, to hopefully kind of teach them some life lessons that they can take with them after they're, they're done playing high school basketball. Um, so that stays constant. As far as on-court expectations this year, you know, I was excited. We had a really short COVID season last year. Um, so there was a lot of questions and, and, and uncertainties, but um, you know, I thought we, we were going to have a good balance of seniors and juniors and, and different guys that can contribute and help. So, you know, we had pretty high expectations coming into, the, into this season. What was your personal goal? Uh, definitely myself was just probably, you know, give 100% effort in practice and just be a, a player that can, can really, like, fill the role that I need to in order to get the team better. On top of that, you know, just to have fun, you know, enjoy the time that I've got left with the seniors and the group of guys that I've been playing with for a while. Um, pretty much just come in, work hard, play whatever role coach needed me to play. My personal goal was to become a starter. I, coming in as a junior, I really needed to make a statement with my name and everyone was, was comparing me to Grant Hardy. And I think I should make my own name be known as Jay Gibson. Um, personally, uh, I just want to get better on both ends of the floor, offensively, defensively, make an impact for the team. Uh, as a personal goal, um, it was definitely just to become a better player in general and uh, to definitely just help uh, do whatever I can to help the team win games. Goals? You know, similar to the expectations, the goal is get a little bit better every day. You know, like I'm a, I'm a big believer that if you get too far ahead of yourself worrying about, you know, championships or postseason, you know, certainly you want to have that as the standard as what you're, you're striving for. But, you know, if you get so consumed into the into that stuff, sometimes you forget about what's most important. That's just having a great day of practice. So, you know, we really believe in just hey, get a little bit better every single day and the championships, the goals, the wins, the, you know, that'll all take care of itself. What was your favorite moment from this season? Uh, definitely had to be beating Niles Notre Dame. Uh, the game against North was also big, and senior night was like an awesome uh, experience for me. Definitely took it all in, and uh, it was great to see that like four years in the program. You know, it was definitely worth it. I really liked the Niles Notre Dame game. It was it was a battle, and the guys played hard, played well, and we definitely just came together as a team for a team win that game. So. That was definitely a fun one. It had to be the North game. The crowd was just absolutely wild, and it was so much fun to play in. Uh, so far, my favorite part is uh, the relationships that I've made with some of my teammates. Uh, coming into the season, I wasn't super close with everybody on the team, but now that I can say I'm pretty good friends with pretty much everybody on our team. Favorite moment's got to be the North game. Um, just the crowd was amazing, and then also uh, beating Lakes. Uh, the first time we played them after that after them hitting the game winning shot over Wakanda was a big moment it's been a fun season
You know, it's it, it's been a whirlwind. We went from a very, very shortened season last year, and, and now we have 31 games on the schedule. Um, a couple that stand out was a, a, a big early season conference win versus Grays Lake North on the home floor. We had a great crowd. I thought we played really well. Um, you know, a couple guys really stepped up that game that we needed to step up, so that was really fun to see. It. Another one a little bit more recent was uh, a big non-conference win in an MLK tournament versus Niles Notre Dame, who's going to be, you know, one of the higher seeds in our sectional. So that was like a big statement game for, for us. So hopefully we have a couple more good memories here coming up, though. Thanks, guys.